Hello and welcome to Ifti's Tech Corner. Today we're going to be looking at what you need to know about the Apple Lightning to 30 pin adapter. So here we have our 30 pin adapter here. Been waiting for this for quite a while to use my iPhone 5 with some accessories. But there are a few things we need to know. There's a couple of drawbacks. This doesn't uh, enable full compatibility with all devices. So there's a few, a few things we need to be aware of before we actually purchase or before you actually purchase an adapter. Now there's two different types of adapters you can go for. We'll look into both of them later on in this video. Uh, the box itself, as we can see, not much to it. Uh, there is a notice on the side of the box here in the small print to say video is not supported. Again, we'll go into that later on in this video, but for the moment, let's get inside the box and take a look at what's inside. Now it's all, it's sealed pretty well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it from the bottom here. Right. So nothing else in the box. Okay, so we have a couple of leaflets, warranty guides and so on. And here's the actual adapter itself, just held in place with uh, a piece of card. So we take the card out from there and we can slide the adapter out. So here we go, here's our adapter itself. So as we can see, it's a very small adapter. You've got your lightning port at the top there and your standard 30 pin uh, adapter at the bottom there. Now it's an adaptive adapter. Um, it has got a processor and some circuitry inside here. So it's not straightforward, hence the price tag. It's 25 pounds in the UK, about $30 in the US. Now there's a few things we need to be aware of when using this adapter. Now I've only purchased this just to use with my car kit primarily, so I'm not too concerned about the second type. There's two types of adapters you can go for. One is a straightforward adapter like this, and the second adapter has a 0.2 meter lead in between the actual 30 pin adapter at the bottom and the lightning port at the top. Now the reason for, for that is here we have my iPhone, as we can see here. I'm going to connect the adapter into the bottom so it fits in there nice and snug. Now, as you can see, there's no space in between the actual, adapt the actual iPhone and the adapter itself. Therefore, I mean, I keep my iPhone naked anyway, but if you had a case on your iPhone, you would not be able to use this adapter. Therefore, you'd be better off going with the second type of adapter with the 0.2 meter cable in between. Um, as I said, I like, I like to keep my phone naked anyway with a screen protector on the front and the back. So that's fine for me. So that's one thing you need to be aware of. The second thing you need to be aware of is obviously video is not supported. So once connected to your device, you can stream audio through your device to an external audio player, an external set of speakers and so on. You cannot stream video. So do not expect to plug in your HDMI adapter, your 30 pin to HDMI adapter and so on and expect to output video. It will not output video. So that's one of the drawbacks of this. Other than that, it is a straightforward adapter. So we've got our 30 pin cable here. We can plug it straight into the bottom. It's completely flush on all sides. So that's quite nice. And then again, plug it straight into the bottom of my iPhone here and we can charge as per normal or stream audio. Now, one more final word. When plugging this into a dock, for example, if you're going to be plugging this into a dock, I wouldn't plug the iPhone on top of this and expect this to take the entire weight of the iPhone. It doesn't really seem that, uh, that strong. You'd either, either end up damaging your adapter or damaging the port in your iPhone. So um, try not to do that. If you, need to, if you need to use that, then please go ahead and purchase the actual 0.2 meter uh, adapter instead. But there we go. Um, this does contain a processor inside or a couple of circuit boards inside which mean that third-party adapters are not yet available uh, because this it authenticates against your actual iDevice whether it's your iPhone or your iPod so there will be some authentication there although some Chinese makes are actually reportedly cracking all of that circuitry so you will probably see some third-party 
cheaper models out fairly soon. But there we go, that was your Apple Lightning to 30 pin adapter. What do you think of this adapter? Leave a comment below. Feel free to check out my other videos and remember to subscribe. See you soon on Ifti's Tech Corner.